hello. So apparently my son um, told me that I say, hey guys, too much in my videos. So today I'm saying, hello boys. Um, I'm going to be reading to you a book called, So What's It Like to Be a Cat? Um, this is my cat, Puck. Yep, say hi. Hi, say hello. Um, he thinks I'm gonna give him a treat. That's the only reason he's over here. But anyway, here's our book. So what's it like to be a cat? By Carla Cotton, illustrated by Betsy. My cat was moving the phone. I am sorry. All right. So what's it like to be a cat? By Carla Cotton, illustrated by Betsy Lewin. So what's it like to be a cat? I'm very glad you asked me that. <clears throat> the day begins for cats like me as all the world sleeps quietly. I wake up in the friendly dark long, long before the sun is bright. It is the middle of the night. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Come on, I know. Come on. Thank you. Oh my goodness, guys. I am so sorry. He's being, being silly today because he knows the story's about him. <clears throat> the day begins for cats like me as all the world sleeps quietly. I wake up in the friendly dark long, long before the sun is bright. It is the middle of the night and slipping out on silent feet, I search for something nice to eat. The hall is dark, your dishes too. I'd be afraid if I were you. The dark hides lots of scary stuff. Dear questioner, I've heard enough. The hall is dark, that's very true, but I can see as well as you when lights are on. So I will eat till I feel fed, then tiptoe softly back to bed. Do you have a kitty bed with your picture at the head? I do not have a kitty bed to rest my kitty tail and head. I'd rather sleep most anywhere that's warm and soft. A couch, a chair, a sleeping loft, I'll curl up there. And once you're curled, you will not stir, but nap compactly wrapped in fur. Meow and how. <clears throat> when they all get up for breakfast in your early morning house, do you sleep or will you join them? For some breakfast fits o mouse. A cat has her habits, a human has his. As for getting up for breakfast, I do not know what breakfast is. My dog is always glad to see me. He barks good day and shares his bone. But cats are private creatures who are happier when left alone. Of course I trust and also wish no one forgets to fill my dish. A bit of fish might be delish. I understand you sleep a lot, but once in a while, but once in a while I leap a lot. Cats have moods like many creatures, mothers, fathers, tigers, teachers. So when I feel the need to prance, I run and whisk my tail and dance. Hey, why don't you guys get your um, shoes on so we can go outside after the book is done, okay? Get your shoes on. Oh, okay. And do you roar? Please tell me more. I, To do you roar, I have this answer. I am a very silent dancer. I whip through doors and slip through alleys. Bounce and pounce and slide and sadly and and sally. Rush and run and twirl and spring at you, my tail or anything. I whisk my whiskers, pound my paws. But why? Because, 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 because that's that is a part of me. Sometimes a feline must fly free. A feline must fly free. So that's a tongue twister, guys. Oh my goodness. Okay. <clears throat> what 
We know you live with people. Ah, yes, a few. Do you like them? Do they like you? With my cat-like dignity, it never has occurred to me to wonder what they think of me. At times they're dumb, at times they're sweet. They bounce nicely on their feet. I do not think that I could do half as well on merely two. <clears throat> but can they nap as fast as you? They cannot do what I can do. They do not nap or leap or lie or as gracefully or well as I. They look peculiar with no fur. They do not simply sit and purr. Instead, they stomp around and yell. But nonetheless, I wish them well. They are themselves, and that is that. Myself? I'd rather be a cat. All right? All right, I hope that you all have a great day. Get outside, the sun's coming out, and I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.